now that that second fight coming in, how did you see Mikey coming in into this, into this training camp? Well, look, we, we've had a great training camp, you know, and, and that's pretty much what every fighter always says, you know, this is the best training camp of, of my life. We had, you know, but we 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 have a good training camp. You know, we have good sparring partners. We have good atmosphere in, in, in camp. We have fun. Uh, and Mike is ready. Mike is ready to uh, to uh, to take this title, bring this title home, and 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 just this is just like the beginning of many big things that Mikey could accomplish. He's taking on Dijon. He's a champion for a reason. Uh, he's a southpaw. Uh, Mikey does have the height and reach advantage. So what does he have to do to uh, come out victorious? Well, look, we do have the height and reach advantage. So we gotta you know use it. You know what I mean? Use it. Plus, that's the way Mikey fights anyways. Mikey fights very smart, very cautious. He always fights on the outside, so why should we do something different? Mikey, Mikey coming in at 83% KO ratio, and Dijon's already also saying that he's going to knock Mikey out. Is, is this fight going to end in a knockout? Well, look, this Dijon has power, but... I don't, I, don't, I don't know if he's ever looked at Mikey's record, too. Mikey has power, too. You know... Dejan hasn't fought nobody, nobody near the, the caliber of Mikey. You know, he his his title his title fight, you know, uh, against a guy from Central America doesn't mean nothing to me. When make seeing him win that title doesn't mean anything to me. You know, he had a good win against uh, Red Catch. He had a good win against uh, the guy from England. Uh, I can't even think of his name right now. But you know, he's had a couple of good wins, but nothing compared to to Mikey. So look, uh, if 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 the fight ends up in into a into a brawl, you know, he can't be so sure that he's he's the only one that's going to knock Mikey out because Mikey has power. Mikey could knock him out too. So you know, it, it's just a matter of who lands the better punch. You know, and that's if Mikey makes that makes that mistake of trading with him. You know, Mikey's Mikey's too smart for that. We know that obviously he's focused on this fight, and there's always talk about the next fight. As in uh, this case, they talk about Manny Pacquiao, Lomachenko, of course, focusing on this fight. But in your opinion, if it was up to you, who would you like to see Mikey face in the next two fights that perhaps he could have this year? Look, like I said, you know, in, in a perfect boxing world, you know, me picking the fights, you know, I, I think Mikey, Mikey uh, could fight Pacquiao. I would love that fight. I think Mikey could fight. Lomachenko, if Lomachenko decides to move up in weight, I don't know if that will be smart for him so quick. But uh, but there's so many fights out there. There's Terence Crawford fight. You know, there's unification fights against uh, Linares, Flanagan. You know, it's it's just so many out there. But you know, like I said, in in a perfect world, we don't have that in boxing. There's so many politics with with promoters, with managers, with different TV networks that. Those fights might never happen, but me in a perfect world, it would be fighting Pacquiao. You know, uh, I, 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 you know, Pacquiao's last fight was not even on HBO. So why wouldn't Pacquiao come to Showtime and let's do a big pay-per-view fight sometime in April? But Pacquiao's got other plans. You know what I mean? He's fighting somebody else in Australia, so that, you know we can, we can change that around. Uh, Lomachenko might stay at 130 to fight Salido, so we can't change that either. So we just got to go to whatever's available, whatever's available. The bigger, the bigger the fights are, the better for Mikey, but we, we can't make those fights happen if they're not available, so we just take our time. And well, last one before I let you go, Gennady Golovkin is taking on Danny Jacobs. They just announced that um, in New York and tomorrow, uh, here, t today, in, today in New York and tomorrow here in L.A. What do you think about that fight between Golovkin and Danny Jacobs? It's a great fight. Uh, I, you know, I pick Golovkin, but I, I won't count uh, Jacobs out, out. You know, Jacobs has skills, he's fast, and he could move. You know, he's got to have a good game plan, and uh, I think Golovkin could be outboxed, but you have to fight the perfect fight, and you definitely cannot be afraid of him. Because once you go in the ring being afraid, which is the case with most of the opponents that he comes that he fights, you already you you already lost. If you're not afraid of him and you fight smart, there, there's you know. There's a way to beat him, but I don't I don't know if I don't know if Jacobs is capable of doing it, but he's got the skills to do it. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's able to do good, maybe not win, but do good for a, for a few rounds. Robert, you know exactly what happens when a fighter changes trainers. Danny Jacobs is going through this fight with the assistance of Virgil Hunter. What do you take to Virgil Hunter being added to his corner going into the Golovkin fight? How, how do you see him uh, benefiting I didn't, Jacobs? I didn't, I didn't. This is the first time I hear that, but uh, you know, Virgil's a great, uh, great trainer. Uh, he might be able to help out. You know, there's there's a lot of uh, depending on what you see. You know, you know, uh, th this last fight with. Uh, with Abner, that was the first time with me, and he looks sensational. He did a great job. You know, that was Cuellar's first time with Roach, and 
they, they didn't have good results. So it, it just depends on the fighter, the type of uh, training you do, the type of training camp. But uh, I think Virgil, Virgil might be good for, uh, for Jacobs for this fight.